Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Jamaican Chapter. I am Nigel D. Salmon. In this video, I'll be looking at the life of a man called Luxley Augustus Beadle, a man who has contributed significantly to the development of Santa Cruz, the Santa Cruz area, and the parish of St. Elizabeth. You can't walk through Santa Cruz or the Santa Cruz area without coming across something that is carrying his name or somewhere that he has built. This is the story of Luxley A. Beagle, otherwise simply known as Mr. Beagle. Luxley Augustus Beagle was born on June 23, 1924 in Burnt Ground, Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. His parents were Hunel and Leone Beadle. His father was a farmer. As a boy, he helped his mother to sell produce from his father's farm. He went to Leeds Elementary School and did well in his studies. As Luxley Beagle grew towards adulthood, he worked for a short time as a pupil teacher. At age 18, his father sent him to learn tailoring, but the young Beagle had already developed an entrepreneurial mind. He wanted to be his own boss. So after almost two years into tailoring, he gave it up. He set his mind on baking, and with help from his father, he started a small baking business, which was quite successful. As time went by, he added a bar and a grocery store. In 1954, he started his pig farm with only five pigs. And by the 1970s, he was raising over 2,500 pigs and chickens in Santa Cruz. In 1956, at only age 32, he opened the first supermarket in St. Elizabeth. Let's take a look at where that supermarket was in the town of Santa Cruz. This is the exact building that Beadle Supermarket used to operate from. As you can see it is no longer there because it was closed down after Mr. Beadle's death. Here there was, he used to sell hardware supplies and also furniture from his own workshop. As we go along, let me show you Beadle's Plaza. Beadle's Plaza is just on the other side of where the supermarket used to be. On the left, you are viewing Beadle Plaza from Main Street, Santa Cruz. Beda Plaza is located right across from the in-town supercenter. Beda Plaza is consisted of three separate buildings. Here, we're looking at the first building you would see if you are going down Main Street, Santa Cruz. Let's go closer and take a look. Here we're passing a Chinese store. A, a, a pig feed store and as we turn the corner you can see the other building building number two which is part of Beda plazas here on this building on the right you can find different types of businesses wholesale restaurants stores and so on. Between these buildings, you'll find taxis that can take you to the communities of Burnt Ground, Malvern, and Abraham, and some other areas. Beadle Plazas is very popular in Santa Cruz and that is why the man's name is called every single day as we go up 
beadle plaza which is you can see is a long plaza right up in front of you is a third building there you can find a bank you can also find few other businesses on that same building so this is a tour of Beatles Plaza in Santa Cruz one of his biggest achievements in the town of Santa Cruz Mr. Beadle got married to a woman called Enid. Here is a picture of both of them in the Beadle supermarket. The couple had one daughter, Leone. Enid Maud Beadle was born on September 16, 1928. She was very involved in useful activities in her parish. In 2010, she received the badge of honor for meritorious service from Governor General Sir Patrick Allen. She received the badge for her service in social work and philanthropy. Mistress Beagle died on Friday, April 21, 2017. She was buried on Saturday, May 6, 2017. Mr. Beagle also got into housing development in the parish of St. Elizabeth. He was responsible for the first housing development in the parish building more than 500 houses in the Santa Cruz area. Let's take a look around. Alright, so we're on Retirement Road and Beagle's height is on your right. So this is Beatles height. That's the sign here. Welcome to Beatles height. And if you can look to see the long road leading up into community started by the man Beadle Mr. Beadle Luxley Augustus Beadle this scheme bears the name of the the man who was the most one of the most ambitious who ever lived in Jamaica and that's why it's very important to to follow your ambition you know become who you are because without him this scheme would not have been developed the way it is so this is Beadle's height I'm not gonna go far I'm just showing you there are a lot of huge buildings up here. He, Mr. Beadle, built a very huge house up here also. And I've, um, as, an, as I've said, that he had built over 500 houses here in St. Elizabeth. All right, so we are up into Beadle's height. I've just shown you the sign. So we're up into Beadle's height. And why the reason I'm going up in here is to show you the house that Mr. Beadle used to live. That Mr. Beadle lived, actually. He built this house for himself, his family. And it's one of the biggest houses 
in the scheme. So let's look at Mr. Beadle, how the house for the man himself. So when he, he built this house, it was probably the biggest house in the scheme. I mean, he, he, he was the boss, so of course, um, if you're gonna be the boss, then you have to show that you're the boss. So, we are approaching Mr. Beadle's house, his own house. Um, as you can see here, there is a huge house. We are approaching the gate. And I tell a story. When he opened this house, he opened it with a big party. I mean, it was a party, they were drinking, you know. Yeah, there were a lot of drinking and things going on here, you know. So he, he opened it with a party and he lived here with his wife, his family, pretty much. And he lived here until he's, he, he died. So that's Mr. Beadle's house. I like the, the location. He has a, he has a, he has a, he, that's the thing about the, a man who is, intelligent and smart you know look at the location it's just perks right up there on the side of the hill is a huge house uh his wife of course died after him um and you know someone else living there owning the house now i'm not sure about who's living there now all right so that is mr beadle's own residence the place he lived here in Beadle's height now let's head over to another place which carry the name of this very intelligent ambitious smart businessman who once lived here in St. Elizabeth I am at the Santa Cruz Community Center, which was built by Mr. Beadle. He yes, he built the Santa Cruz Community Center. It's at a very convenient spot. And this community center served the community a lot of persons can you know participate in sports and just bring the community together currently the building is occupied by the social development commission look at this place now you can see this is where the spectators would sit. This thing about anything that Mr. Beadle built is that he thought it through properly. As you can see, this is where spectators would sit and then down there would where the athletes would perform. This is the Santa Cruz Community Center built by Mr. Beadle. These days it's it is not um, used um, as it was uh, during the life of Mr. Beadle but of course it's well kept. You can see the lawns are still cut and don't worry about this. I think I, I would assume that somebody would sweep this place clean. Anyway so this is the Santa Cruz Community Center built by Mr. Beadle and it is located near to the Saint Santa Cruz to the Saint Elizabeth Technical High School so if you know where the Saint Elizabeth Technical High School is simply ask for the Santa Cruz Community Center this is another contribution of Mr. Beadle himself 
Okay, so we are at the other location which holds Mr. Beadle's name. It holds it as a memorial, to be honest, also. And just a reminder of who the man is. Here we are entering Beadle's Boulevard. And there's a sign right there that says Beadle, Beadle Boulevard. And so right down there we have Beadle Boulevard. You can find here by traveling up Coke Drive and then turn on Providence Road and then but this is not a direction really. I'm just showing you the place. So this is Beadle's Boulevard. Another place that carries his name is on the lower part of uh, Santa Cruz. Uh, because Beadle's has Heights is on the hill, this is on the lower part. So this is Beadle's Boulevard. Another place that carries the, the ambitious businessman's name after his death and will always carry his name, Beadle's Boulevard. So now we head to the final location where we should go now. So we know that Mr. Beagle died on November 11, so November 11, 1998. So now we are heading to the final location, his burial place, his grave. All right, guys, so we are on the final chapter of the story of Mr. Beagle. There's so much to tell about his story, but this is much I can tell. So we are here um, at the St. Matthew's Church in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. And you may wonder why am I at the St. Matthew's Church? So here we are at the St. Matthew's Church. This is a historical church, I tell you. You will see this church if you're leaving Mandeville toward, if you're leaving Santa Cruz towards Mandeville. And if you're coming into Santa Cruz from Mandeville, then you will see this church. So it's on your right when you're coming from Mandeville and it's on your left when you're leaving Santa Cruz towards Mandeville or anywhere towards Mandeville. So here in this church, this church, um, there's a plaque at the front here um, and it says uh, St. Matthew's Church, Santa Cruz, established 1800 and it goes on to say that the building was dedicated on September 21, 1999. Uh, from my understanding, dedicated mean that the building was open for public use. And as you can look right down there, you will see a building called the St. Matthew's Church Hall. Uh, you can rent it for conference, seminars, or whatever is allowed for you to keep. I'm sure they wouldn't allow it for keeping like dance and parties and so on. So this is the St. Matthew's Church. And this is where Mr. Beadle resting place is. That's because the church has a cemetery. So as you enter the church, you walk right around and you're gonna go right in between the St. Matthew's Church Hall and the church itself and go right around to the cemetery of the church and here you will start to see all the tombs pretty much you can see other tombs from out of the road but here we are you can see looking all the way down there there are tombs and tombs and we are looking for Mr. Beadle's resting place. And you don't have to go far. I'm standing right at the side of the church. And as you look down, that tomb, you see with the 
the two flower pots. This is Mr. Beadle's resting place. This is Mr. Beadle's tomb. Tomb. Um, I'm just going to move the flower pot temporarily. So you can see there Mr. Beadle in loving memory of Loxley A. Beadle, June 23, 1924 to November 11, 1998. Always remembered, always loved, sadly missed by family and friends. So that's Mr. Beadle. Let me put the pot right back here. This is Mr. Beadle's resting place. Yeah, the man who developed Santa Cruz, who contributed significantly to the development of not just the Santa Cruz, but the parish, who have helped many poor people in this town, who uh, is, 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 who is who was responsible for the development of two significant housing schemes and others um, and who was a justice of the peace in Jamaica in, in Santa Cruz in the Santa Cruz area and a man whose name is carried on buildings roads a young man who started out in the 1930s, I remember he started out um, as a learning tailoring. He didn't love that. He left tailoring. He went, wanted to be his own boss, and he started out his bakery. And the bakery became successful. Then he went into the restaurants business, then hardware. Then supermarket and then housing development. This is the resting place of Luxley A. Beadle in the churchyard of the St. Matthew's Church. And beside him is his wife, not far away. Many times persons are buried separately, but this play spot was reserved for his wife. And her name is Enid Maud. Bailey and it says in loving memory of a dear mother barn oh some of the things on this it is rubbed out so I know it's not his but she, she was born in 1928 but even the date of death has been rubbed out it's not as sturdy as her husband I guess they would have to replace this this stone very soon. So this is uh, Mr. Mr. Beadle's wife. Um, everybody called Mistress Beadle. They are both beside each other. Yes. And this is where this, the, the, the video is going to come to an end. We have a lot of um, tomb here. A lot of tombs. In the churchyard a lot of tombs so of course mr. Beadle is not alone some of these tombs are way back look at this one this one say in loving memory of uh, I know the last name is Dodge died in 1991 so and here we have somebody who died in 2013 Anyway, so this is the St. Matthew's Churchyard, the resting place of Luxley A. Beadle and his wife Enid Maud Beadle. Okay, Mr. Beadle, this is, a, this is the place for everybody. I mean, death is the place for everybody. Everybody's not going to be buried in St. Matthew's Churchyard, of course, but death is the final place for everybody. A man who lived his life productively and whose ambition is benefiting many people today. And that's the story. 
of Mr. Beadle. Until then, guys, see you in the next video. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. All right, so from me, it's Nigel Salman. I say peace out.